So this is the detection and absorption of UV light. And I have some UV sensitive beads in two bags labeled control and experiment. And you can see they're different sizes and different colors. Right now they're exposed to the indoor lighting where there's no UV coming to us for in indoor lighting. And so the color of these beads is currently no exposure to UV. But you'll see that I'll keep the control bag here. And when I expose the experiment beads to the UV lab light for about 10 seconds, that these are color changing UV beads. Okay, so when no longer exposed to UV, the color fades, so we can reuse these but that was the condition of the indoor UV lab lights. You're gonna to wanna to write the comparison of what you see for the control beads and then the experiment beads. And I prefer to see say something instead of just the different colors, just change or no change. Okay, so this start off here and this is a change from here. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to be marking this on part A in your lab report sheet. The color of the control beads we saw inside and we use the UV lab light so you had marked there and now the experiment beads outdoors in the sunlight so the control beads are staying inside on the bench and we're going to go outside and see what happens and again so what you're going to want to note is not necessarily individual colors and set them on this table and you're going to want to write your observation in that section on your lab report. Okay, so the next condition for the experiment beads is that the beads are now outdoors, but in shade. So we can see here, I'm shading it using this. And you wanna note how the appearance of the beads looks in shade outdoors. So this is absorption of UV light by lotions. So we're gonna test some actual lotions and sprays for sunscreen values of different SPFs. So this is SPF 50, a sunblock. Uh, SPF 15 is a regular, just moisturizing face lotion. SPF 30, and a sunscreen spray that's an SPF 50. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dab of each of these lotions on here. So this again is the 30. So a little dab of the 30 on here, and then spread it around, and let's set this aside where it'll be tested. And then this is SPF 15. So put a dab on there, spread it around, and then set it aside to the testing area. And then SPF 50, spread it around. Okay. And then the spray. Okay, so these are all gonna be tested, but first we gotta let this all settle in and let the lotions dry a little bit. Okay, so for each of these uh, lotions that are being tested, we're gonna wanna look at and record your observations of how these beads look before exposure to the UV light. So you can see the beads inside of the bag right now. And then I'm gonna hold the UV light over it for 10 seconds, and then you're gonna wanna record what you see. And normally I'd like to basically see, you don't need to name the individual colors, but just change or no change. You can also break it down to a lot of change or a little bit of change. Okay, so that's 10 seconds. And then here's your observations for SPF 15. Okay, so set that aside. So this is SPF 30. So SPF 30, you can see your observations before these beads are exposed to UV, how do they look? And then let's expose these to the UV light for 10 seconds. And then you'll be able to write what you see, again, change or no change, a little bit of change or a lot of change. Okay, so that's SPF 30. So now let's take a look at SPF 50. So there's the beads before exposure to UV. And then let's take a look at this 
Put this UV light on for 10 seconds. And then you'll see how this looks after exposure to UV. And then we've got the spray. So this is before exposure to UV. And then after 10 seconds, after exposure to UV. So in part C, where we're looking at how UV light is absorbed by different materials, the control beads and the experiment beads are both exposed to outdoor sunlight. So they're here on together. And you're gonna wanna mark the, what you see for the control beads compared to the experiment beads under each condition. So the first condition is gonna be applied to the experiment beads, which is clear plastic. So you're gonna wanna note what you see, the control, and then by comparison, the experimental beads under the condition of clear plastic. Okay, so the next condition is the control beads compared to the experiment beads that have been uh, shaded by opaque plastic. So let's see the colors. Um, and you're gonna mark what you see in comparison. So the next one is we're using UV cloth. So this is this black cloth that is shading the experiment beads and we're gonna see how these experiment beads look when they're protected or shaded with UV cloth and compared to the control beads. So now let's look at the condition of foil. So this is aluminum foil shading the experiment beads and comparing the control beads to the experiment beads, what do you see? So here's a piece of plexiglass over shading the experiment beads. And so you're gonna wanna note the difference between the control beads and the experimental beads. So now this is a piece of blue paper that's shading the experiment beads. So you're gonna wanna write your observations, see how the experiment beads look when shaded. So here's some UV sunglasses. You can see the sticker on there, UV 400. That's protection from wavelengths below 400 nanometers. And then these are just some cheap sunglasses that had no sticker and just got for free. So let's test both of these. So here's the UV sunglasses shading the beads. And then let's pull them so you can see the color. So there's the beads after being protected by the UV sunglasses. So now we have the, the cheap sunglasses that are shading the beads. And let's take a look at what protection they afford. Remove the sunglasses and take a look at the, the beads control versus experiment. 